You can use Adhost wizard to install various components like CDH, Router Manager Agent, Java or different services on a host. Before proceeding to Adhost wizard, make sure the host is configured with proper Linux prerequisites. Prerequisites include host name, fully qualified domain name, disabling the firewall, etc. For demonstration purpose, here we are adding the machine to dot cloud scoop dot in onto your existing cluster. So we knew the cloud manager console which we already installed runs on 7180 port. The machine we are adding would be the machine 2 and the prerequisites required are hostname, SLinux, IP tables, NTP configuration etc. For this click on the add new host wizard into the add new host to the cluster in the host menu of a cloud manager. After clicking on it, you need to provide fully qualified domain name of a machine. Provide the fully qualified domain name and click on the search. Your machine will appear. Select it and click on continue. In this step, you can install the specific release of Cloud Manager Agent and in the next step you can install the Java. You can provide the authentication method as a password or a passage key. Here we are using the password as an authentication method. Click continue. So you could see it is installing the JDK package in Cloud Manager Agent package on a machine. So it will take some time. Click continue. Once it is done, the parcels will be distributed and activated on a second machine. Parcels is the special method in, included in Cloud Manager apart from package. Clicking continue, you could see inspect host wizard for correctness which runs validations about different parameters. Here you can see it failed for some validations like vm.surfiness and huge page compaction. So you need to issue the following commands from the Linux command line and need to run it again. Commands will be the setting the vm.surfiness to 10. Disabling the transparent huge pages. So now you can see the all issues 
are resolved. You can click continue to move forward. The next screen shows the selection of host template. If you had previously created, you can see it in the list or click none or even a create new template over here. Clicking continue will deploy client configurations on newly added host. Here you can click finish. It will take some time, few seconds. And you could see in the host section that machine is added into the host list, but there are no roles assigned right now. So the next step will include adding the role instance to a machine. You could see there are no roles assigned right now for your newly added host.